Hey everyone, this is Lindsay Ballard Kiefer with CDA Sense coming to you from beautiful Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And today we're going to talk about post its and how you can turn this ordinary post it into this. Ooh. So, I like to do a lot of monthly mailers. I like to spoil my customers and I don't like hand cramps because I'm always constantly writing, okay? What I decided was I was gonna try something different. So I do a lot of monthly mailers, a lot of monthly mailers. And with my monthly mailers, what I do is anytime somebody orders new or existing, they get something from me in the mail. I call it smell mail for three months, okay? After three months, if they don't order again, they stop getting it. So my, the reason I do this is to continue to get those orders because people like to get things other than bills in their mail. Like, let's face it, who likes to get only bills in, your, in their mail? Because I'm not raising my hand for that and I know you're not either. When you get something that you're not expecting or even if you are expecting it, if you're a part of this, you, that's something that you become, you start looking forward to. You start looking forward to smelling the new scent that's coming out. You start looking forward to seeing what that new warmer is, right? So and this is to help entice people to continue to um, buy from me, to continue receiving their monthly mailers and so forth. So instead of using one of these generic ones from Vistaprint, which I was using for a while, but then I would forget to use it or I forget to put it in or I didn't know what to say. I said, scratch that. I'm doing something different. So this month for my, oh no, please don't go, I am just printing it on my little post-it. And then right here, I'm just gonna write a heart and then sign my name. So there's still some, um, some personalization to it, but this main part, I don't need to, I don't need to write it, you know? Save me some time. And it's still cute. So I get all of these at the Dollar Tree. Um, I have some with hearts. I have some with smiley faces. I have some with the ice cream cones. And this is what I'm writing on mine. Oh no, please don't go. This is your last month getting free Scentsy samples. If you love trying new fragrance and products, contact me as contact me soon to place another order and get three more months of free samples right there. And I'm gonna put heart Lindsay and I'm gonna sign them, okay? So I have nine of these that are gonna go out. Okay, Lindsay, how do you do this? Well, there's the fancy way where you can make templates and you can spend all this time. I ain't got time for that. I'm gonna be 100% honest. So what I end up doing is I end up typing up what I'd like to make and I use a Word document I go in and I go under print and I go under margins and I make my margins narrow. So 0.5 margins, which then spreads this out. Then I go in and I insert one column or two columns. So now I have two columns right down the middle. And then I start typing. Now when I'm typing it on the screen, I tend to hold this up to it to see if it fits. All right, if it fits, it ships. That's what I like to say. So I will turn this around and kind of show you a little bit of what I'm doing. Okay, so I just type it right in here. So right here. Then what I do is I kind of hold it up. It's just kind of a guesstimate to see. And then I usually print one of these to see, oh, and then I end up laying this out. I'll put it up to the sun, see if it prints, if it's fitting, if I need to move it. Like the top one, I need to move a little bit because it's on my, on my cone. Then what I'll do is I'll just take my sticky, take my sticky off and then I will replace the sticky where I think it needs to go, where it needs to go. And then I will just hold it back up and see, oh, okay. So I need to move it down a little bit more. So it takes a little bit of time. And then once I get it all stickered up, then it'll end up looking like this. All right, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in my printer this way and I'm gonna push print. And when it prints, it's gonna print up like this and it's gonna come out printed like that. It may ta take you a couple tries, but you will really get it. And I save my um, templates and then I have them over and over again. And then if I need to make a new template, I just open up my existing template, save it as, put in the new name, bingo post it, or VIP post it, or join post it, and then I just fill it out because it's already there. So hopefully that helps you 
guide you to making these bad boys. Let me know if you like this, um, if you have any easier ways that you've come across, and overall what your feelings are on it. I would love to hear some feedback, and if you have any tips or tricks, please post them down below. All right, until next time.